Hi everyone, it is snowing, I'm Mateo and this is Architects 3D Printing. In this video we're gonna start with the assembly process where I will guide you step by step. So guys, stop talking and let's get started. The first step we'll need to do will be to assemble the frame. The frame is composed with the main frame and those two parts. Once we have the playwood uh, parts, we have to, to assemble them. For that, we need to introduce the pieces of wood into the holes. Like that. Now, to put everything together, we will need three of the boxes. The number three, four, and six. The nuts, the washers, and the screws. Concretely, we will need six of each. As you can see, we have six of each type. We have to put those pieces here, 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 and here. Okay, so the first step is to take a nut and then introduce a screw in the washer. Then we have to introduce the screw through the hole and carefully put the nut in its place. And then turn it around until it's fixed. Now we have to repeat the process in the other point. Now, as you can see, we have our frame assembled. It is not as fragile as before. And now what we need to do is use the tools provided with the package to tie up the screws. After tightening up the screws, they should look like this. Our second step is gonna be attaching the fan to the frame. For that we will need the fan itself, four washers, four nuts, four 30mm screws, four fan mounts. And we will place the fan right here. Remember that the fan will blow the air in this direction, right to the sticker. So we will put it right here. Also pay attention to the cable. It must be facing down. Our next step will be to install the power socket. So we'll need the power socket, two nuts, and two 16 mm screws. For that, our first step will be to cut the zip tie and introduce the cables from the exterior to the interior. through the holes of the socket and finally install the nuts. Okay, so now we start to have something going on here. The next step we are going to install the power supply to the frame. For that we will need our iron key, as always, three of the smallest screws and the power supply itself. We will install it in the right side of the frame with the three screws. Always remember to check the voltage of the power supply. 
As it says here, you can set it at 110 volts or 230 volts. We'll use the 230 volts. Our next step will be to install the last electric component, the motherboard, that will power up our whole system. For that, we'll need four of the smallest screws and those four clips that we will find in the bag number nine. We will install the motherboard in this part of the frame. You can find the hose where you have to introduce the plastic pins and screw them from behind, like this. Finally, we have to just press the motherboard into the pins to get it fixed. In the next step, we are gonna attach the set motors to the frame. So, we'll need both motors, six nuts, six washers, and six 16 mm screws. So let's start installing them. As we did with the frame, we have to attach the wooden pins into the holes, then insert the washer in the screw, insert it through the hole and finally place the nut. We have to repeat this process in the other five holes. So here we are with our printer that is taking shape. Now we're going to install the Y axis that we'll find pre-assembled in the box. As always, you should tie up every single screw in the pre-assembled part. To assemble it, we will need six nuts, six washers, and six 16 mm screws. Before starting, we will cut the zip ties in every cable. Now, we will put the heat bed to the front and we will place it from the back, right here. Make sure that you fit the big threaded rows in the gaps and you have those wooden parts in the front. Once we fit the wood in place, it will look like this. It's now when we have to proceed and install the screws with the washers and the nuts. And as always, repeat the process on the other side. Now, we are gonna put the heat bed on the back, like so, and we will put the printer in this position. Right here we can see the pieces of wood that we have to attach to the frame. Once again, you have to put the washer on the screw and attach it right here to the printer, like so. You have to repeat the process for the other three screws. Okay, so right now we have more or less the whole frame of the printer built. Now we're gonna install the LCD screen that goes right here. For that we're gonna need the LCD display, two screws, two washers and two nuts. We're gonna proceed as always introducing the screws in the washers. Then we're gonna insert the screws from the front to the back. And now, we are gonna fit the LCD in place. Okay, so we can finally say that it looks like a 3D printer. It's been almost 10 minutes of video, 
and I think I will divide it in two parts because it's getting too long. As you have seen, we got the printer almost completely built, but we can notice the lack of cables that we will install in the next episode. If you like the video, please don't forget to click the like button and feel free to leave any comments if you have any questions or any suggestions about the video. You can also consider to support me on Patreon to keep making it possible if you want. Don't forget to subscribe to the channel on YouTube as well as following it on Twitter or Instagram as Architects3DP. See you on the next video.